Good day everyone, my name is Vindimus and in this video we're going to be learning how to link to external pages with anchor elements in HTML5. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. You can use a element, anchor, sorry, a elements the anchor elements to link to content outside of your web page. A elements need a destination web address called an href attribute. They also need anchor text. Here's an example. You have the bracket with the a href equals with a quotation mark and then there's the web address for free code camp and then outside of a closed bracket you have this links to freecodecamp.org and then there's the closing a bracket I'm confused on this because Okay, no, I'm not. There's a, a closed bracket and an open bracket matching here. And then there's a closed bracket and an open bracket here. I was confused as to this middle part here that's outside of the brackets. We'll continue and come back to that. Then your browser will display the text this links to freecodecamp.org. Yeah, that's what I was wondering why it was outside the brackets. As a link, you can click. And that link will take you to the web address freecodecamp.org. Create an A element that links to freecatphotoapp.com and has cat photos as its anchor text. Okay, so I just learned something here, which is awesome. I've, I've seen these before, and when I was using WordPress, all I would do is just kind of highlight the word and then hit the URL, and it automatically does it for me. I didn't know the code for it. And this has just taught me what anchor elements are, which is very cool. So let's try it out now. In this challenge, the objective is down here. These are the objectives. Your A element should have the anchor text of cat photos. You need an A element that links to that. Your A element should have a closing tag. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. And for now, I'm just going to put it inside the main and I'm just going to go to the bottom and just put it there for now. So we'll put the A element here and we'll get the href equals and now we want this website here for cat free cat photo app.com. So control C to copy that, control V to paste it. Then we're going to close the tag and this is where the anchor text will go. Cat photos. Then we're going to create another bracket with the closing anchor element. And then I put a, I like to put a space in between just to kind of keep everything clear. Kind of clean up the code a little bit. So we're going to double check the objectives. Your A element should have the anchor text, cat photos, and you can clearly see it over here. You need an 
a element that links to free cat photo app which the link is here with this href and your a element should have a closing tag and the closing tag is here and you know they gave you a clear example up here which is very nice I like that and then we want to keep in mind that these are elements and that's dark blue and then the lighter blue these are attributes which is just something I learned also you know the last few lessons but it's repeating it over and over is helping me to keep that in mind that these attributes I guess they kind of go with the element so this would go with the image it's a kind of like a link and then I mean what does SRC even stand for anybody know I guess we'll get into that later href and SRC we'll get into those later I guess that's beyond the scope of this lesson so anchor elements let's run the test objectives were complete let's spool up the faster than light drive and let's warp over to the next lesson the next video good job everybody with this lesson and we'll move on to the outro thank you for watching if you feel this video was helpful or you liked it then click the like button if you want to see more content like this then subscribe and if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Finimus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.